So here we are, it is time to check out what the Terran units look like in the real skill mode. Now yesterday I uploaded a video where I had a look at all of the Zerg units in the game and I asked you if you would like to see the other races as well and it turns out that you know, just judging by the amount of likes on that video and the amount of views in general, that a lot of you really enjoyed that. So, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I really enjoyed making that video as well. I freaked out when I saw the size of the Leviathan. So I figured I really want to go ahead and look at the Terran pieces as well as the Protoss pieces. I'll probably have a look at the Protoss pieces tomorrow uh, or the day after, but today I'm gonna have a quick look right here at everything that Terran has to offer. So in case you missed yesterday's video, I'm just gonna be playing a casual game uh, against uh, against Echo Steel right now, who's in the other side of the map, who's also playing Terran. And we are gonna try and make a massive amount of army in the real skill mode. Now, what this mod is, it is basically an accurate representation of what the game would look like if all of the units and whatnot were actually realistic to their lore counterparts. So, obviously, to make StarCraft II a functioning game, it needs to, you know, have at the very least a reasonable unit size, because otherwise it's just gonna be an absolute mess. Uh, but the units in this mod right here are going to be realistic to the scale as they should be if we talk about, you know, the size of units in general in StarCraft 2 if they would be representing their lore counterparts. Now, I know that there are, actually, I don't know if there are any additional buildings here. Apparently there is a Perdition turret. Uh, as well as a Merc compound and you know, obviously some of these units I mean, we can actually build a Thor apparently with a SCV, which is kind of interesting. I haven't really thought about that. Uh, but um, obviously, um, this is just a, a friendly match, right? We're not gonna go all too hardcore. We're just gonna hang out and have a quick look. Now, I can indeed zoom out as far as I would like to and yesterday when you know making the Zerk video and if you in case you missed that uh, I'll post a link to it down below in the description of this one uh, but in that video I really did need to zoom out at several moments in that game because there were some moments where things just absolutely got crazy now I think what I want to go ahead and do is just First off, check out all of the barracks units, okay? I'll start up some gases here, and um, obviously uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of RAS to my opponent, but really my main focus is just to try and, and showcase to you what everything would look like and see if things are absolutely ginormous, just like they are with the other races as well. So we'll start off with a marine. There's 70 minerals each to supply apparently, which is fine. I'm sure we know what a marine looks like. Now we got a new unit though, called the Marksman, a sniper marine with longer range but less armor. Now some of you pointed out that apparently uh, some of the buildings may not be entirely sized to what the lore should look like. Uh, but obviously that's just gonna be- Oh, <laughs> it's little baby marines! Little baby marines! Look at the size though of these things compared to SCVs. I know that apparently SCVs are supposed to be like massive robots controlled by, you know, I think people or whatever in there, but that is so cute. Alright, we'll get another we'll get another tech lab on this one as well. But anyway, apparently buildings or whatnot should be sized a little bit differently. Uh, but this is pretty crazy. Marines are absolutely tiny. Now obviously in StarCraft 2 normally, right, we have different skills for units for obvious reasons that they need to be playable by, you know actual multiplayer games as well as just campaign and all that and if you you know are a little bit too worried oh that's just a marines with a, a marine with a sniper rifle all right uh, we'll go ahead and make a medic here as well as a fire bat and i'll queue up a marauder as well as tigus a heavy gun <laughs> a slow but powerful marine with heavy with a heavy machine gun as well as a Herc. Now, a Herc we did actually see in the beta of, uh, of Legacy of the Void, I believe is what it was. That unit did get removed. But obviously, a lot of the units from the campaign, as well as from the lore and whatnot, have been added. Look at that. Look at that little dude, though. Look at this guy. The Marksman. Alright, he's basically like a ghost. I'm not seeing any ghosts in here right now. Oh, we do have ghosts. I just need a Shadow Ops, apparently. Uh, as well as a Spectre. Alright. So, I think what I need to go ahead and do is... At the first, of, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead here and make our, is that a Shadow Ops? Yeah, we'll make a Shadow Ops, and I'll also start building a factory. Now, I'm not sure if there are any kind of, like, absolutely huge, enormous, oversized units in the game. Not entirely sure what to expect from that, uh, but we'll simply just try and make one of as many of these things as possible. Um, and, um, well, there's a Herc as well. I think uh, with this little hit squad of units that we got right now, and look how tiny they are, in comparison to the SCVs and the command center, I'm gonna start moving across the map. Now, we are on Overgrowth Ellie, just a very, very standard ladder map, and the idea here is that, obviously, we have a bit more of an idea of what the skill looks like. Oh! One orbital command gives access to several mules. That sounds... that sounds fair. I'm sure Terran players would love that. We actually... 
Oh, is this... The Shadow Compound is actually basically a sensor tower as well, judging by the radius on the minimap. There's a lot of cool things in here. Uh, I do want to arm the silo with a nuke in just a bit as well, just to see what the nuke looks like. Because apparently, they clearly pointed this out in the description of the mod. Apparently, nukes are also realistic scales. Look at the size, actually, of that factory. It's, it's much bigger. That's pretty awesome. All right. Um, so I'm moving out right now with my units. They take a little bit of time. Apparently, the fire bed is a little bit faster. That's okay. Um, and I think... Yeah, we're already arming a single nuke right now. I'll go ahead and make a ghost as soon as I can, as well as a specter. So we'll start with a specter today. And we'll do some damage with those, hopefully. Uh, since this is indeed going to be a friendly game, I will be able to do some. Oh, no. <laughs> that hurricane had a huge lasso. Although I'm starting to think that this move out here was not all too beneficial for me. Uh, but since this is a friendly match, I'll make sure to just simply grab all of the bases. So we can use the supply that we get to our advantage. Now... I am getting a nuke here. It's already loaded, actually, so that's good. Uh, there's a Mobius reactor. There's a science complex. Built the old-fashioned science complex to research special Terran techs. All right, I guess what that looks like. And obviously, there's also different suits and whatnot available, just like we saw already. Is that a ghost? Oh, man, you are tiny, Mr. Ghost. Or actually, you're a Spectre. Now, apparently, he has auto-cast nukes. <gasps> that thing is huge. That thing is huge. All right. Um, yeah, alright, so we'll move across the map here. I'll make a, uh, a a ghost as well, just so we can have a quick look at that one. Uh, but all things considered, this should be pretty straightforward for us. I'm gonna ask, can I nuke your natural? <laughs> we'll be a good guy. <laughs> My specter is coming. It'll only take, like, three minutes <laughs> for it to move across the map. While we're at it, I'll go ahead and add on a second factory as well. And I'll make sure to make a tech lap on that one too. Now, there are a lot of additional upgrades here as well for all of the Terran bio units. But I'm pretty sure we've seen those, right? I mean, it's mostly about scale right now. We're not really all too worried about gameplay. We're just here for the ghost. Apparently, he has an ability called Hell Jumper Drop Pad. Calls down several drop pads with four to six Yuma John Marines. Whoa! Yeah, sure. <laughs> are you kidding me? I can make that many units out of one ghost? Alright, fine. We'll sacrifice those as well. Oh my god. They've got little lights, apparently. Alright. Coming in. Um, This is gonna be terrible for my frame rate again, isn't it? Anyway. Is it nuking? Wait, wait. Oh yeah, the nuke is going down. It's an autocast. It scouted the first building. And apparently that's what we got. I'll go ahead and scan to see what it looks like. I don't know where the nuke is at, though. I'm still looking for it. I'm hearing it, though. Where's the nuke? <laughs> until, the <laughs> until the smoke cleared out, I did not anticipate. There's actually a bunch of debris now as well. <laughs> until the smoke cleared out, I didn't realize that it would be as powerful as it is. Well then, the nukes are pretty powerful. In case you were wondering about the nuke being underpowered, they're pretty good. Nah, no, they're pretty alright. And apparently they leave be- Apparently they- did, did that- what? Did he just autocast a second nuke as well? He's got another nuke ready to go. I'm gonna see if I can find another one of his bases. But anyway, um, apparently those are rather large. Rather large indeed. Alright, next up, next stop <laughs> in this Zerg or in this Terran theme park rather is going to be our beloved uh, factory units. We'll make one of each once again. Uh, I'll go ahead and just queue up a bunch. We got Predators. I like those units a lot. We got Warhounds, Diamondbacks, and all that. We got a little tiny tech lab, though. A little baby tech lab. Um, I got those two queued up. We'll queue up those. And I'll just simply I'll just simply make one of each. And we also got one called Build Additional Vehicles. A transport truck, all right. As well as an armor transport. And then we have got a Warbolt that I need an armory for. So while we're at it, I'll make an armory here as well. And apparently, now that I've researched this this thing right here in the Shadow Ops, I can make a building called the Science Complex. Alright. Alright, I can make a Science Complex, sure. We'll drop a bunch of mules. I want to see if there's another nuke. I'm going to I'm gonna turn off Autocast. I want to see if there's another place I can nuke here. Is there a base here? If there's a base, that would be great. Alright, there is, there is. Oh my god. The size of that is insane. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. Um, 
So I don't know exactly what the science facility will do, but it will build a lot of stuff. I want to see the nuke again, though. <laughs> He's seen it. He's seen it. <laughs> he knows that something's up. Oh my god. I, I guess I lost my ghost with that as well, right? Yep. Alright, 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 alright. I like that. That was pretty good. Um, next up, I'll simply have a quick look, I guess, at the Terran uh, factory units. And I'll also start constructing my starports. We'll make a bunch of those. I'm thinking that the battle cruiser is going to be the one that we are really looking for right here, right? Um, while we're at it, I also want to make myself an additional war bot, which apparently is a new unit. I don't know where all of these nukes are coming from. I got another ghost, apparently. That's been doing some some damage to us. He's actually harassing me with a single one of those. But luckily my nuke apparently is being thrown here from the watchtower by this one ghost that I made as well. Because nukes are an autocast and apparently that is fair. Alright. Oh my god, did you see that warbot shoot up? That was incredible. Oh, that warhound rudder? It shot up and it did so much. Alright, so here we have a predator, which is basically like a cat type of thing. That's dealing damage. Um, is this my is this my ghost or his ghost? I don't know if there's Is this his nuke? I'm assuming it is. We do have a bunch of other units here as well. There's some cyclones here, there's another SCV, there's a vulture, of course. We can put some spider mines with that one. Yeah, that was his nuke, alright. That was his nuke, alright. Uh these nukes seem a little bit on the more powerful end. I mean I don't want to complain, but they certainly seem a little more powerful than I anticipated. Uh, here's a siege tank as well, by the way. Guys, come over here. Come over here. Um, we got more and more units. And there's actually an armor transport. Apparently it's stuck. Look at the size of those starports! Oh my god, starports. Calm down. I'm gonna land them right over here. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, like, five minutes, peace. <laughs> I, need some I need some units to build up here. There is an armor transport, though. I can load colonists into the transport. It's so slow. It's so slow. But I can apparently land... Oh, man. Look at that. I can add so many units to it. I'll add some tech labs to all of these things as well. The size of these starports, though. I thought that apparently the buildings from the Zerg apparently were not accurately sized, but... Whoops. Um, we got a warbot here. Can that thing attack? Can you attack that base for a little bit? Oh, yeah, you can, all right. You do quite a little bit of damage as well. Look at that star <laughs> The tech lab. Right there. What a great spot for a tech lab. I can barely click it. Uh, improved medevac. Sure, they're not powerful enough already as it is, right? Uh, I'll, I'll research these. And then I'll research these as well. And I guess I'll go ahead and at the same time research these. And research those as well. Alrighty. Uh, and with that, I think we'll start making all of the Terran air units. I'll simply queue up as many as I can here. I queued up all of them. But I want to make a few sh Oh my god, it's 5,000 to 5,000? Are you kidding me? I was going to say, I need a fusion core here to make one of the battle cruisers. Um, I think we're going to try and make a lot of those. I think we're going to try and make a lot of those things. But um, it's it's been pretty crazy so far. I mean, that nuke is incredible. Alright, armor transport. You're so slow, I don't see what the use of you is. Other than the fact that you can load in a lot of units, and apparently that is a little attack as well. Can you attack? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Warbot! You need to be shot at! Yeah, look at that damage output! Insanity! <laughs> alright, alright. So here's the matter of fact. Ooh, that thing is large. We got a, a Wraith over here as well. I think I'm gonna make a ton of air units. I think that's gonna be fun, but I need to save up here for a little bit. We need to save up for just a tad so I can make my, uh, my air units. Look at the size of that Wraith. We got a Viking. The, the Medivac is huge. Normally it's like the size of a Marine. Now, I don't... Do I have a barracks? Oh, yeah, I do have a barracks. Oh, go, guys, guys, guys. I don't know what the size of a fact or a Medivac would look like right next to a Marine, but I guess we'll find out here very shortly. Um, I do want to save up here. Actually, I'm already pretty much fully saved up, which is good. My fusion core is done, and I can start making my first battle cruiser here. Very, very shortly. Now, if this is the size of a medevac, right? The battle cruiser. <laughs> the battle cruiser has to be huge, and I'm gonna start one up right now. Uh, I'll rally it to right around right over there. Look at the size of that liberator as well. But look at that. Look at that difference. Yeah, this makes more sense now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, good job. 
Good job, Valkyrie! You got him good! Or actually, maybe it was the Viking. I'm gonna try and see if I can get into his main. <laughs> I'll do a double meta- or I'll do a double marine drop. You will not expect a thing. Here we go, boys! Dropping my marines! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if that was worth it. Oh, apparently the ravens- oh my god, everything just exploded. Apparently the ravens are healing air units. That's a little terrifying. Uh, Battle crews are still on the way. I'll make another science vessel. And I guess since he's making a lot of ravens, I'll need to make some of those as well. And I'll try and um, I'll try and add on a couple more starports because those units seem incredible. I just wonder what the what the what's it called the uh, battle cruiser looks like though. And I guess at that point we just simply start building up a lot of stuff. I'll make some depots as well because we need some. And I've got a lot more upgrades to get. There's a ton of stuff actually. Experimental plasma gun. Prototype, Dominion, okay. Sure, I can make those. Ooh, that thing is hugely expensive. A hive mind emulator. Can permanently mind control Zerg units. A Psy Disruptor, okay. As well as a drill defensive. Is my better cruiser out yet? It's almost out, it's almost out. I've almost got a better cruiser. I wanna see what it looks like. It's done in like 29 seconds. All right, we got some more of these things. I guess I'll, I'll just simply make some more Vikings or something. They seem really good against air. I think those were the Viking Schultz, right? That did a lot of damage. All right. So here's my battle cruiser. It's just about to come out. You guys fly over there. The battle cruiser needs a little bit of space. I think this is the largest Terran unit that is going to be in this, right? All right. Battle cruiser, come on now. Come on now. Here you go. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> Who called in the fleet, he says. And apparently I can also hell jump or drop with that one. Oh my god, look at this size, right? You almost forget about it. But this is the units that we were dealing with first. Luckily, uh, luckily I got my battle cruiser here ready to go. So we can do some... <laughs> we can deal some damage to his units. I'll just try and make as many things here as possible. And we'll try and drop down. I'll try and drop down with as many of things as we can. Oh my god, look at the attack of the battle cruiser! That is incredible! <laughs> he did just nuke me. The battle cruiser did apparently get hit as well, which is a little bit disappointing. But we're still dropping down. We're still dropping down. Look at the size of that thing. That is insane. Oh, there's not a nuke though. There's not a nuke. I don't like these nukes. Get out of there. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back to making a maxed out army here. Is that the ghost? Or is that my ghost? All right, fine. I'll have to get some more of my own ghost, I think. The size of that battle cruiser, though, that's amazing. I thought the other air units were large, but this is this is far bigger. Uh, can we repair that with SCVs? That's the real question. SCVs, can you repair this, or is this really like Raven work right now? Oh man. All right, I want to see as well what other buildings I just unlocked. Uh, we can make a weapon refit enables battle cruiser special weapons. All right, we'll make those. Uh, I'll try and cancel whatever I'm building here. Um, I think actually the repairing may cost me resources or something. Does it? No, I'm not sure. Can you guys repair? Decloak? Decloaks a selected unit, making it visible to enemies? No, no, no. Oh, snap. I was actually looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, apparently it can't repair the battle cruiser. Or maybe it can. Oh, yeah, it can. It's just not doing it very quickly. It just has a lot of HP. We also have the Neo Steel Armor. Double thick armor gives plus 10 armor to beta cruisers. Plus 10 armor would be ludicrous, guys. I just want to point out how terrible that would be if that would be in a multiplayer. All right, we'll get these dudes back to mining. Actually, I don't know if it's the Ravens that are healing up the beta cruiser or not. It does certainly look like it. Uh, I want to... We, we are auto-casting the Yamato Cannon. and apparently I have a cooldown of a ghost. We can use some more ghosts. There you go. I like the nukes. The nukes are insane. And it's actually, it's actually, oh snap, the battle cruiser is researching the nuke. Oh, all right. Um, I guess I'll make another Valkyrie and we'll make like another Banshee or something. Actually, I was saving up, right? I forgot about that. Um, nuclear missile ready because the freaking battle cruiser made it ready. That's insane. We'll get the weapon refit here as well. Uh, we are getting uh, a lot more resources now again as well. I was sort of running low on those. Um, I think it's time for us to start pushing though. Ooh. Really? You sure about this, my man? <laughs> I 
I love the way these Vikings move, though. Look at them. Their rates are so fast as well. It's so sick. I don't know. Does he have the gold? He doesn't have the gold. We'll try and get our own. I have to play zoomed out now. All right. We'll try and do some pressure here. The hell jumper, though, does cost a lot of resources. All right. Here we go. Let's push. I got so many air units, though. Oh, my God. This is terrible for my frame rate. Can these Vikings land? They can carpet bomb? Wait, you guys can carpet bomb? How does that work? Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. Back up, back up, back up. Are those my units? Oh yeah, they are. Are those my Vikings? Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> I'll get some more, I'll get some more Banshees. Those seem pretty good as well. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna cancel the things that I'm making right now. Go for benchies and then go for some rates. The rates seem extremely good for what they are. All right, back up, back up, guys. No reason to be super aggressive. I'm not sure what the warbot does other than getting stuck. It seems like it's it's best at getting stuck. I love the way though that air units are moving about. It's insanely good. It is insanely good. We get a defensive mage strike. Like, surrounds the battle cruiser with a shield that can absorb damage. Are those the weapon refit thingies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's insane. Um, and then apparently it may just be self-repairing or something. It has missile pots on auto cast. We can cool down more ghosts and it can tactical jump. I mean, I'm sure it can tactical jump pretty much anywhere on the map, right? Yep. I would say though the defensive matrix is probably the sickest thing here. I'll get some more rates. We'll get some more benchies. And uh, my Terran Marines right here. These things are bad for your for your. I'm gonna sacrifice those. I'm sorry, dudes. But those are really bad for my, uh, like the, the little flashlights they've got on the front of their armor. They seem really bad for my, uh, for my stuff. Now, I was gonna have a look. I, I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, man, there's Hellions. Hellions and the Viking. That's a landed Viking right there murdering all my stuff. Guys, stop. I'll land some more mules. Uh, you guys, you guys, move across the map. We don't need you. You, we don't need you either. I'm sorry, Mariners. You guys are pretty great, but we really don't need you guys. Um, while we're at it, I wanted to check the buildings that I just unlocked. How do I make those? We got a Psy Disruptor right here. A, um, okay. I just want to make them, okay? I just want to make them. I don't think we really have any use for them right here. What do we need that for? An engineering bay? All right, I'll make one of those. And I'll also build a Thor. Oh, man. I'm going to have to wait for these dudes to die. Excuse me, sir. Could you, could you kill my mariners? I need to build a Thor. Oh my god. I love the way that if you kill things as well, like they turn into debris. Look at their range though. Are you telling me they can hit? <laughs> oh, oh well, that works. Whoops. I nuked my own. <laughs> we were good. <laughs> Alright, let me build a let me build a couple of ghosts. Or not a ghost, sorry. A couple of Thors. Oh, are they still that size? Come on, I was hoping- Oh no, oh no. I like the look of that, not gonna lie. Um, is this the maxed out supply that we can get, or can I supply drop? Can we get more? Nah, it seems like 220 supply is the max. At the very least, from what I'm realizing right now. Um, are there any other upgrades I can get here? Doesn't look like it. Now, I wanted to look at what these things look like. Yeah, so they're like, the buildings that you have in like the campaign and stuff as well. Uh, mind control permanently converts a targeted Zerg unit to player control. That's pretty insane. Thors are just about to finish though. Echo Steel just said, I feel like I'm in Brood War again. Yep, that is not inaccurate. Not inaccurate at all. Um, I think I'm nearly good to go. I think I'm nearly good to go here. Uh, I. Yeah, I've got my engineering bay here. We got a lot of upgrades on those as well. Mostly what I wanted to do though is have a look at. The Perdition turret. And, well, I know, I'm sure we know what a missile turret looks like, right? Other than that, I think I've made everything. Here are my Thors. Oh, they are a lot bigger. They are a lot bigger. Well, if you compare... Oh my god, look at the tiny movement speed. Um, this is what Terran Mech should look like. <laughs> he needs another 4k minerals? I am maxed. <laughs> I am maxed right now. Um, I can give... I can get some of these upgrades, I guess. I'll get a couple more of these things. Oh, oh, um, I got, I got a bit more. I got a bit more. He's at 50 supply right now. I got a tiny, tiny little bit more. 
That's okay. Uh, cloak can no longer require energy. That's fine. Impaler rounds. Tungsten alloy rounds. All right, all right. We got a lot of stuff here. I wish I could just get rid of this armored truck, though. There, <laughs> it's not doing anything. And also this warbot, like it's pointless. Guys, get out, get out. We need to take you with us. Can you take out that that armor transport, Mr. Warbot? Because apparently it is too stupid. Oh yeah, you can. Oh my god. All right. Apparently that that building was too stupid to do, or that that unit was too stupid to move. Now I want to see what a carpet bomb looks like. Can I use it on one of my own? Oh, I can. Oh, there we go. It looks sort of like a banshee attack. It looks sort of like a banshee attack now, doesn't it? Oh my god. All right, let me let me hold position them for just a little bit. Look at the size of all of these things. That is insane. Oh well, well, well. My I said I said to Echo Steel just now that we were waiting for him to be maxed, but then my units accidentally gained vision. And I think my nuke. Oh man, my nuke is going down. I I don't want to kill everything. I don't know if it's still going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll just push. We'll just push. We'll just push. <laughs> coming in. I'm coming in. I got a lot of stuff. Drop all the things. Drop all the things. Use your carpet bombs. Oh, I, I just dropped down the, the Vikings. I didn't really mean to do that. My raids are going down at the same time as I'm fighting the main base. Let's see how fast they can- Oh my god, I just lost all my stuff to my own nuke. These autocast nukes are both a blessing as well as the worst thing that has ever happened. <laughs> Things are looking rather large. Yep, I, I will- I will- I will agree with that. Now, I am not- I'm not a fan of the autocast and I'm a massive fan of the autocast of the nuke. That main base will go down here very, very shortly. Here we go! Well, it will at the very least, very shortly. I'm gonna, can someone please take out the ghost? It will, it will need to be taken care of here. Uh, I, I, I think, I think that's GG. I'm pretty sure. Get it. Get that thing. Get him, dudes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Let me go ahead and finish off all of these units. And apparently we've already obtained the victory here, but I wanted to go ahead and finish up as much as we can and see if we can max out once again and have a quick look at what a fully maxed out, you know, mass air-based army looks like. I also want to sacrifice all of my SCVs, okay? Let me sacrifice and get rid of all of my SCVs. Well, there we have it. That is what a maxed out, full-on, realistic mech army would look like. It is absolutely ginormous. I mean, just simply moving around my army basically covers half of Overgrowth LE. And it's, it's definitely not one of the biggest maps, but I would not consider Overgrowth to be tiny either. So pretty awesome. Now, there's one thing that I'm still curious about, and that is what a mothership would look like. I mean, I'm pretty sure a mothership would be even bigger then a battle cruiser, as well as a leviathan, right? I'm pretty sure it will be. So if you are interested in that video that I will be uploading sometime later this week, make sure you subscribe down below so you get a notification as soon as I do. And also, if you enjoyed this one, let me know by hitting up that like button. It does help me out a ton. Uh, in particular, uh, it's immediately noticeable. Like, when there's, when there's a lot of likes, the videos in general seem to get a lot of views as well. So if you enjoy the content, I mean, dropping a like is very easy to do. And it helps me out quite a little bit. Uh, and while you're at it, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.